Hey guys, it's Ro. Today we're gonna be making some DIY dog treats. My dog Cookie's first birthday is in two days and I wanted to do something special for her. I don't normally make homemade dog treats, she just eats yummy dog food, but I wanted to do something for the occasion. I'm gonna be making some homemade treats based on foods that she loves. Cookie loves to eat peanut butter, she loves chicken, and she loves bananas. She goes bananas for bananas, it's her favorite. So the first thing that we're gonna be making are these homemade peanut butter dog biscuits. To make these peanut butter dog biscuits, the ingredients you will need will be two and a half cups of whole wheat flour. I like to use all organic products for my doggy, and it is a good side note that if your dog has any food allergies, you can substitute the ingredient. For example, if they're allergic to wheat, a good substitute is rice flour or coconut flour. One cup of water, one cup of peanut butter, two tablespoons of honey, one egg, and one teaspoon of baking powder. The tool you will need will be a baking sheet, mixing bowl, hand mixer, rolling pin, these cute Wilton pet cookie cutters. I will be using the bone shaped cookie cutter and a fork. The first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna combine our flour, egg, and baking powder into the mixing bowl. Then we're just gonna give it a quick mix. Next we're gonna add our water, peanut butter, and honey to the bowl. Then you're gonna mix together until everything is well combined. Now our dough is ready and it's ready to roll out and a really good thing to know about this recipe is that it's not gonna rise very much because we've only added one egg. So when you're rolling it out, you'll wanna roll it to the thickness that it will be at the end. I like to shoot for about a half an inch. So you're just gonna take a little flour, sprinkle it over your surface so that the dough doesn't stick. Then you're gonna take your dough, press them down. Oh, it smells so good, it smells like peanut butter. Then we're just gonna roll it out about half an inch thick. Now you're gonna take your bone-shaped cookie cutter, this is so cute, and we're just gonna cut out a bunch of our little peanut butter biscuits. Now you're gonna remove the excess dough around your cookies and transfer them to your baking sheet. This part is totally optional, but I like to add a little detail to our dog biscuits. Cookie won't know the difference, but I think it's really fun. Kinda like when you make peanut butter cookies, you press the fork in at different angles and it has that signature peanut butter cookie look. I like to make signature biscuit look by taking a fork and then just pressing straight down to make little divots. Now we're gonna bake these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 18 minutes. Just keep your eye on them. Mmm, they're fresh out of the oven, they're all done, and they smell really good. They just smell like peanut butter. These are also people safe. You can take a little bite. It tastes like peanut butter. It's a little bit drier biscuit, but just remember they are not sweet at all. They're not like a cookie because there is no sugar added to them, so definitely yummy for a dog treat. Next thing that we're gonna be making are chicken flavored ice cube bones. I don't know about your dog, but my dog Cookie loves ice cubes. Every time she hears the ice cube maker from the refrigerator, she comes running. The things you'll need to make these chicken flavored ice cube bones will be a bone mold. This one is by Wilton, and I'm gonna be using it as an ice cube tray. Organic chicken broth and some boiled chicken breast. I love this recipe because it is simple and it's super easy to make and Cookie loves it. Over here I've got two pieces of organic chicken. I've boiled them until they were fully cooked and the first thing that we're gonna do is just shred them and add them to each little bone mold. After you've filled the tray with a bunch of shredded chicken, now we are gonna add our chicken broth on top. To make it a little bit easier, I'm gonna be pouring it into a measure cup with a pour spigot because I'm messy. Once you've filled the tray with the chicken broth, now you're gonna pop these in the freezer for a few hours until they have completely frozen. And next, we are going to make a doggy birthday cake. Cookie is gonna get so excited because it is gonna be a meat-based cake with a peanut butter banana frosting. And Cookie loves bananas. Oh, yum, 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 yum. The things you will need for this doggy birthday cake will be a mixing bowl, a hand mixer, two four-inch cooking pans. I'm using springform pans because they're super easy. Cooking spray, one pound of organic ground beef, a fourth a cup of rolled oats, 
a fourth a cup of shredded cheese. I'm using cheddar, one egg, one cup of peanut butter, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and one ripe banana. The first thing that you're gonna do is in your mixing bowl, we are gonna combine our beef, egg, oats, and cheese. And we're just gonna mix it together. I'm gonna use my hands. Now we are just gonna split this evenly between our two pans. So I'm just gonna eyeball it. Now I'm gonna pop these in the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 minutes until the meat is cooked all the way through. Our doggy cakes are baking in the oven and now we are gonna make some frosting using peanut butter and mashed banana, which is Cookie's favorite. So I think she's gonna love this. So in a mixing bowl, we're gonna add our peanut butter, our banana, and I'm just gonna break it up and do little pieces, and our vanilla extract. Now we are gonna mix them together until they're well combined. Now our peanut butter banana frosting is ready, and this part is totally optional, but I am gonna be putting the majority of the frosting into a decorating bag with no tip, and this will just make it easier to apply to the cake. And then in the second bag, I'm gonna be putting a number 21 tip, it has a little star, for a little bit of design on the cake to make it look like a birthday cake. <laughs> now that our doggy cakes are out of the oven and have had a little bit of time to cool, they can still be warm, this is just fine, we are going to level them by cutting off the top. This will make them easier to stack. Now is a good time to pick whatever plate you wanna serve your little doggy cake on, and I've got this teeny little mini, I think it's a cupcake tray, but I'm gonna be using it as my doggy cake tray. Cookie is gonna love it. I'm just gonna take the bottom layer of your cake, I'm stuffing it right here, and I'm gonna put a layer so that my patties will stick together. Now we're gonna put on our second layer, stick it right on top. Now we are gonna frost the entire cake. I like to start on the top, so I'm just gonna pipe our frosting all along the top, and then use the spatula to flatten it out and press it all the way around the sides of the cake. Our doggy cake is looking so cute and I am adding some final touches. Again, this is totally optional and not in the recipe, but I'm gonna be adding a little candle. Oh, we're gonna be celebrating her birthday a little bit early and she's such a little dog, so I'm just gonna be giving her a little slice of this cake. She's gonna have to share with friends. And then what do I have here? A little bit of confetti. Just gonna put these on for fun. Da -da! Here are the DIY dog treats that we made today. We made homemade peanut butter dog biscuits, organic chicken flavored ice cube bones, and a doggy birthday cake for a cookie. She's gonna love it. It's basically a meatloaf with a frosting made of mashed bananas and peanut butter. Oh, yum, 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 yum. I'll be posting pictures on Facebook, Tumblr, Instagram, and Twitter. And if you guys make these for your pets at home for a special occasion, please take a picture and send it to me. I love of seeing your baking creations, even if they are for your pet. Also, I made a video over on Wilton's channel. I'll put links down below so you can go check it out, but it's basically about a ton of cool ways to use cookie cutters. Like today, we use this cute little cookie cutter to make dog biscuits. And on Nerdy Nummies, I use them all the time, from Rice Krispie treats to many other things. And also, a big thank you to Wilton for partnering with me on this video. All right, thanks again, bye bye.